Okay, so well, just now we talk about the case one, but it is one only one possible case. So just now we talk about we have two consecutive red nodes, and A and B, and B is the red child of A. There is another possibility when we have two consecutive red uh, red nodes, and B is the left child of A. Does that change anything? And the answer is no. We are still going to color the X and the grandparent to be red. So B, which is the X, and the grandparent to be red. And then for the parent and the ankle, they are both black. So in this case, well, in the case one, it doesn't really matter whether the new node X is a left child or a red child. What we are going to do is, for the new node X and the grandparent, we color both of them into red, and then for the parent and ankle, we color them into black. Black, and then we are going to assign the new X to the grandparent, and then we are going to fix the tree all the way up. Okay. So, and the case number two. So case number two is a tricky case because the rule is if my uh, if the new node X ankle is black, and then the node X is a right child. So the scenario should be like this. So for the new node X, it is a right child, and then the parent A is also red. But for the ankle, the ankle is a black. So you may ask why. It is a triangle. So think about that. Before we inserted the x, what was that this tree like? So before x, if we should have, uh, let me change the color. Before we insert x, and then uh, at that time we should have a c, and then we have a triangle here. And we have a red A.、Uh, I have to change the color again. So we have a red A, and after that, underneath the A, we have two triangles. Okay. So this was the tree before we inserted the X, and at this time, if the C. Is the、uh, is、uh, is the first black node, and then for all the little triangles, they have the black height of n, and this means for the C, it has the black height to be one plus n. It is guaranteed. So for all the little triangles, they are black nodes, and they all、uh, they are black nodes, and they all have the same. Uh, the same black height. Okay, so after we inserted B, now the tree will be like this. So B's parent is a red node, and then the node X, the new node X, is a right child. So and the the ankle, which is this part, the ankle is black. So what we are going to do in case two is we are going to do a left rotation on A and B. So we are going to make B. The new parent. Okay, so we are going to transform the case two into the image on the right side. So you may ask, it doesn't really solve the problem. So on the left side, we have two consecutive red, red nodes A and B. Now after the left rotation, we have two consecutive red nodes again. They are B and A. So we didn't solve any problem. However, we have transformed the case. Two to case three, okay. So case two itself doesn't solve the problem. We are still violating the rule. However, we are going to trans. We are going to move on to case three. So for the case three, that is, we have the、uh, we have the new node X as the left child, and then the X parent B is a red node, and for the X ankle, it is black. Okay, now you may find this tree is a little bit imbalanced, right? So in this case, we want to do a right rotation on the node C and B. After we do the right rotation, and then B will be the new parent, and A and C will be two children. And at this point, 
B stays black and A and C, they are both colored into red. So this will solve the problem. So let's step back again. So for the case two, B's ankle is black. However, B is the red child. We don't want that. We want to do a rotation so that well B, if B has a red child, uh, B has a left child A. And after that, we have C, B, A. And it transforms to case three. And for the case three, we want to do another rotation. And then now B is the new root, new root of the subtree. And then A and C, they are both the children. And B color A and C both red and B stays black. So now it fixes the tree. So you may find that's already hard enough. The, there we have already talked about case one, case two, and case three. And guess what? We have case four, five, and six. But the difference will be case one, two, three hold if X parent is the left child. So X parent is the left child, and then we go to case one, uh, case one, two, three. However, if X parent is a red child, and then we are going to go into four, five, and six. Well, it is just uh, it is they are just symmetric to case one, two, and three. Okay, so uh, how about deletion? Uh, deletion is really hard and really tricky. Well, what you you are, what I'm requiring you to do is to read the read the textbook, which is uh, which is this one. So take a look on the te uh, on the textbook. You don't have to worry too much about the code of the deletion. However, by reading the uh, the images, the visualizations, you should get some idea on how the deletion can be done. Okay, so that is the end. Well, in last lecture, we talk about uh, the cool thing about the red black tree. As long as we maintain those five properties, a red black tree will guarantee to have the height h as o log n. That is a cool thing about the red black tree, but we have to hold those five rules. And for today's lecture, we are using insertion as an example. And we discuss if we insert a new, a new node into the tree, how we are going to do a lot of the magical, tricky manipulations of the tree so that we can maintain those five properties. The goal is as long as those five properties are maintained, and then we have a really nice and really cool red black tree. Okay, so I will see you next week. Bye.